In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way that I know how to run match cover, man-to-man uh, -man coverage right now in Madden 23. Really effective for guarding a lot of different types of formations, depending on the formation that you're going to be guarding. I think this is going to be very helpful to you. If you want to get my entire 4-6 defensive ebook that explains a lot of these principles in depth, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've got over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks. You'll get access to all of them by becoming a member today. It's only $10 to become a member. So make sure to sign up for that. The link is down in the description of the video. The play we're taking a look at today is going to be the Mike Blitz Zero, but it's a specific type of shaded coverage, and we're going to talk a little bit about it. And it is also going to be paired with a very critical adjustment. In the nickel 3-3 formation, you can come out in what's known as the safety nickel back package. Now, what I recommend doing if you're going to run this is to go ahead and come out uh, or go ahead and sub all of your players out and then sub them back in because it is going to help significantly with them not changing. Um, but as you can see here, if you look at the bottom of the play call screen, you're going to see safety nickelback package with the right joystick. The way I get to it is I just flick the right joystick to the right a couple times and it's going to give me safety nickelback package. What that does is it basically gives you three safeties on the field which is going to allow you to have different coverage adjustments on your players. So I'm going to go down to Mike Blitz Zero. I'm going to press. And if you look at the safety adjustments that I have now, I can now put my safeties in thirds on either side of the field. Thirds, in my opinion, are the best zone in the game for defending corner routes. For defending corner routes, okay? Um, so then all we're going to need to do is we're going to shade underneath and we're going to man up our linebackers on the running back and on the tight end. So as you can see right here, we're just manning them up on those players. And then we're going to use our, our, um, our middle linebacker, as you can see. What you're going to notice with this is this is going to, these, these outside thirds are going to significantly help you defend plays like bench that are very popular uh, for beating man-to-man -man coverage. I'll show it to you one more time here. Or I'll show it to you in instant replay. I apologize. And uh, what you're going to see, same basic thing you see here, it's hard to throw these corners uh, with these outside thirds. So what, is, what, are, what are people going to start throwing um, if they're not able to throw corner routes? Glad that you asked. They're probably going to throw um, some type of slant post concept like this. This is probably what they're going to do. All right. So they're probably going to go to something like this. We'll set the coverage up again really quick. What you want to do is you want to press your coverage. That is important. You want to outside third both safeties to their corresponding side. You want to man up your linebackers onto the running back and the tight end. And typically, I want the linebacker that is on the running back side on the running back in case they try a snap throw. And then I have, I can cross man the tight end for any kind of crossing route that he might be on. All right. So you see here, this cross man is going to help guard that tight end. And you see, this is by and large pretty solid coverage. All, all things included, pretty sticky, pretty tight coverage uh, out of the man to man set. Now I'm going to show it to you against Bunch here in just a second. But tight and Bunch are definitely the best formations in the game for attacking man. Um, you're going to see here, see how that cross man just sticks on him? If you combine this with inside shade on as many people as you possibly can get in medium route knockout, you have deep out zone knockout on your player, on your outside safeties. So that's going to help them knock out any kind of deep corner, any kind of deep fade route. This is really, really, really solid coverage, all things considered. Now let's jump into Bunch here and show you how this coverage works against Bunch. Again, you notice that the game actually subbed out Ted Hendricks, so I need to sub him back in. So I'm going to sub Ted Hendricks back in, and I'm also going to sub um, Thomas Davis back in while I'm at it. So, you know, again, the game does that. But anyway, let's get into Bunch here. So uh, against Bunch, same same exact principle. And it's actually really good against Bunch. It's really good against trip sets. Um, so you're going to man up the tight end. You're going to man up the running back. You're going to shade underneath. And then what I like to do is outside third, outside third, boom. Okay, and I like to crash out. You don't have to. Um, you can leave the default crash if you want. Um, it's up to you, okay? So here, the snap throw wheel is going to be taken away 
to the running back, it's also going to be taken away right there, as you can see. You're going to be able to take away these snap throws. And really what you're forcing by running this coverage is you're just forcing your opponent to have to work. You're forcing your opponent to have to work. Um, this isn't a coverage that you need to run every single down, right? It's a coverage that you're in because you want to force your opponent to work. So now what do they have? To, what are they going to throw? Well, what are the most popular route combinations out of bunch? Corner route um, with a backside dig. So something like this, right? That's kind of a popular route combination. This will bag it, as you'll see right here. Um, you know, pretty solid coverage, all things considered, uh, on that side, as you can see. Now, the, the, the other thing you can do against Bunch is you can get a little adjusty with it. And what I like to do is third, third, third. The reason I like this adjustment is because it's going to take away the C route on the left side, which we know is popular. But it's also going to hedge our bet if for any reason somebody beats the tight end. Um, or some, not beats the tight end, but somebody beats the coverage. So if somebody beats the coverage to, you know, the left side or the right side, this is going to kind of hedge our bet a little bit. And so what you'll see here is even if Julian Edelman, he see how he lights up because he has short out elite, even if he beats it, we're bracketing that really nicely over the top of the, over the top of the defense, as you can see. So this is another great way to deal with any kind of trip set is to the solo receiver side, Pressing outside thirds this year has been really successful, uh, utilizing press thirds. You're still shading underneath. And now you'll see if he runs a streak, this third is going to basically play him in man-to-man -man coverage, and he's not getting that instant win animation that we know is super, super common to get with short out elite. So you're able to really slow down a lot of what people are going to do. Again, if they're going, um, one of the other things I like about this is let's say they audible too tight. You don't have to flip your play. Um, you don't have to flip your play at all. You might, the only thing you might need to do is just change who's on what. So you might just need to change these linebackers and who they're manned up on. But this right here is super simple. And now, you know, they're going back to, you know, corner routes. If they try to flood you on one side, you're going to get over the top and help that. You can kind of help that right there. And you see that third is going to play that every single time. So this, in my opinion, is the best way to be playing man-to-man -man coverage, utilizing these thirds to help bracket any kind of deep routes that you're going to get, and then you funneling everything over the middle. And one last pro tip. I would recommend shading outside and underneath. You notice the safeties will come down a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive. When you shade outside, it really funnels routes back over the middle of the field, which again, that's where your help is, that's where your user is. Um, and, and the last little piece of this tip is do all of the things that I just said, and every now and then, every now and then, it doesn't have to be every play, every now and then, send five. Every now and then, just send five, um, with shade outside and you are going to have a really really solid and stout man-to-man -man coverage defense that is super hard to beat so that's how i like to run man coverage if you want to get my entire four six defensive ebook make sure that you join the patreon it's only ten dollars to become a member and it's going to get you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks you can sign up in, at the link in the description of the video